Talmor, Jeshin Mugachi. Talmor is my home. My family have worked the land for generations. My gran says the island does not belong to us, but we belong to the island. And we must be ready for a great evil is coming. And death follows with it. Listen and subscribe to the latest season of Undertow, The Harrowing, a story glass production presented by Realm, available wherever you get your podcasts. Contained herein are the heresies of Radolf Burntwine, erstwhile monk turned traveling medical investigator. Join me as I uncover the blasphemous truth of a plague ridden world that ours is not a loving God, and we are not its favored children. The Heresies of Radolf Burntwine, coming January 2nd, wherever podcasts are available. And now, listen to this. On the Toddcast podcast. Refused could be one of the most underrated bands on the planet. Now, hear me out. Even though their album, The Shape of Punk to Come, is widely recognized as one of the best punk hardcore albums all time, they've influenced countless bands over the years. So just listen to Alexis on Fire, Death from Above, 1979. You'll hear what I mean. Refused is powerful. They're punk. They're punishing. They're from Sweden. They've been around since 91. Uber political, far left leaning. There was a time, in fact, when they were associated with a straight-edge subculture, no booze, no drugs. And when you heard their singer Dennis Lixon on the podcast, it was right around the time that Refused released their album War Music. They've released an EP since then called The Malignant Fire. He talked about everything from aliens visiting Earth to binge-watching Succession. We talked about superhero movies like The Watchmen. He talked about seeing Europe as his first concert. Pretty good one. He shared his thoughts on legalized marijuana, how Star Wars took over his life as a kid. Sounds familiar. The superpower that he'd want to have. And Dennis talked about how the Beatles got everything going for him. Then it was Bowie and then Ozzy. And listen to this. Oh, interesting. Oh, well, my dad, for a short period of time, he worked um, He worked for like a record distribution sort of company. He oh. had a lot of records. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so he played a lot of music at home. When I was young, I don't really know what he was into. I mean, I know kind of what he was into. But the first thing that that really hit me was the Beatles. Mm. Um, I was eight, wait, I was eight years old when John Lennon got shot. And um, his picture and the Beatles' picture were were all over the newspapers the next day. And... uh, that made me super curious. I, I thought they looked really cool. My dad had all the Beatles records, so that was like my first, uh, my first, uh, you know, journey into music, basically. Mm. And what what do you think it was yeah. about the Beatles? I, I well, I mean, first of all, I thought they looked cool, which is you know, when you're a young person, that's that's a plus. <laughs> of course. I mean, also, yeah, and uh, and. I think uh, also a lot of their songs, especially the early stuff, because I like when you're a young person, when you're eight years old, Sgt. Peppers, and you know that might be a bit too much for you. But I, I like the early stuff, like I want to hold your hand, and you know all that, like the the, the simple Beatles songs. She and, loves and you. They, yeah. They, yeah, she loves you, of course. So there was a catchiness to that 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 really blew my mind and I was like uh, building Lego guitars and like miming in in my living room (laughs) to 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 be those records when I was like eight and nine years old yeah listen to this on the Toddcast podcast is brought to you by Tedco RV Supplies in Langley an ICBC approved repair shop visit them on Facebook and Twitter at Tedco RV Supplies GZM Shows and the creators of Six Minutes are rolling out their newest audio adventure with the podcast Discovering Dad. A cautious single dad with a secret past and his rebellious kids embark on a thrilling quest complete with hidden treasure, villains, and a family curse. New episodes of Discovering Dad roll out weekly starting June 11th on Apple Podcasts. Follow the show so you never miss an episode or listen early and ad-free as a GZM Show subscriber. Go to gzmshows.com to learn more. Hi, I'm Alexis Ohanian. You may know me as one of the co-founders of Reddit, but more recently, a large part of my identity is being a father to my two wonderful daughters. In my podcast, Business Dad, 
I'm hoping to open up the conversation about balancing careers and family. The one thing I constantly hear successful people say, without fail, is that they wish they'd spent more time with their kids. That's time no one can get back. So I decided to create Business Dad to engage in the conversation about how we're spending our time now, providing a forum for successful dads to share their joys and challenges of being a working parent. You'll get to hear from a wide range of business dads, from Rain Wilson and Guy Raz to Todd Carmichael and Shane Battier. And while this podcast will talk about business and will definitely be featuring dads, I think everyone can learn something from these incredible conversations as we unpack the expectations we all have about careers, relationships, and ourselves. Business Dad is available now, so be sure to listen and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts.